This is the M4 iPad Pro, and with the help of a newly available app in the App Store, it's able to run Windows and all kinds of PC and Mac operating systems without any workarounds or hacks. I can now revisit old apps and functionality, which is all very nostalgic, but there's also a lot of potential I see with these tools that could make the iPad a lot more useful and interesting. And you can in fact run some modern systems and apps on here, well, kind of. Emulation apps on iPadOS and iOS are still new to the App Store in an official capacity, and while it's all very cool to access different operating systems on these devices, there are some things holding them back. Today, I want to go over what some of those things are and what emulation or virtualization is currently like on the iPad with this app, where it could go in the future, and why Apple all of a sudden decided to allow these kinds of apps. So if you're interested to see what Windows or Linux looks like on an iPad, if it's actually usable, or if you're just curious to know how all of this works, stick around and let's get into it. Hey everyone, Kyle Erickson here. The iPad has always had this conversation around what it should or shouldn't do. Some people think that it should run a fully fledged version of Mac OS, and a lot of folks like it the way it is, but with these new emulation apps, it kind of leaves open the possibility of having both options. Recently, an app called UTMSE popped up on the App Store, and with it, I'm able to install different operating systems, either from the UTM downloadable gallery, or by getting my own disk images and setting up a virtual machine manually. I haven't had much luck setting them up manually to this point. I tried running through Windows 10 and 11 installers, and while they do start, they suffer from a lot of strange issues, but I've had much better success with the setups that you can download in the UTM gallery. With these, they'll either download or install everything to your iPad, or with some operating systems like Windows XP, You'll be able to download the configuration, but you'll have to plug in your own disk image, which in the case of XP is easily found on archive.org. From there, all you need to do is start your machine and it'll run through the setup, which I personally didn't find the smoothest process in the world. For Windows XP, I had to restart the installation three or four times trying different things before it went through the entire process, but with a bit of patience, things finally went through and I was able to get this up and running. Once the installation was complete, XP booted up in all of its glory with the standard functionality that doesn't require an internet connection, and that was kinda neat to look back on. I'm not sure how many of you remember the old pinball game on here, but I remember playing this game well before Windows XP was around, and you can access some internet content with Internet Explorer, provided it's only HTTP and not HTTPS, and doesn't use any modern frameworks or tech, which can be kind of a challenge to find. If you want to access more of the modern web, there's a version of Firefox that UTM recommends that normally you would transfer via shared folders. This is currently broken in UTMSE, and the only way that I found to effectively get and transfer over files was by using FTP in Internet Explorer, which took me a long time to figure out, but from there things do open up quite a bit. I was able to download and get Doom running, which runs surprisingly better than almost everything else on here. With Firefox, you can access most sites that don't contain too much JavaScript, although it is painfully slow, and while all that is great, and the retro vibes are fun, what about more modern use cases? I was really interested in seeing if I could get Linux to run on here with a graphical interface, because that would mean I could test out a whole bunch of modern apps that don't necessarily work on the iPad very well, or at all. Things like VS Code would be great to get up and running and have somewhat of a realistic development experience, but Unfortunately, trying to run a Linux distro on here is pretty painful. I tried out a couple of versions of Ubuntu and some others as well, and they will work provided you're willing to wait for what turns into an insanely slow and pretty unusable experience. It's way worse than your average virtual machine, even slower than an old Raspberry Pi, and from what I can gather, that's all because of how emulation is being done within the app. Normally, emulators or virtual machines run through a JIT or just-in-time compiler that dynamically compiles code at runtime to machine language. In a nutshell, it allows for real-time optimizations and is generally faster and more performant than other processes, but JIT isn't allowed on the App Store. Emulators like Dolphin have been rejected from the App Store because of this, and from what I can gather, this was the reason why UTM was initially rejected as well, but they've since gone back and changed how things work a little to get approved. 
What UTMSE is running and what Apple allows is TCTI or tiny code threaded interpreters. Essentially what that means is all the virtualized hardware has to be built entirely through software before anything executes or is interpreted line by line. You can kind of think of it as using directions to find a location where JIT compilation is like GPS software that provides quick updates based on traffic conditions for a specific area, where TCTI is more like a printed map that's just one giant piece of paper with all the information. You're not gonna have the same route optimizations and it just takes a lot longer to get where you're going. That makes things painfully slow on here and why you're really limited to old software, but going outside of the app store, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. UTM itself isn't exactly a new application and you'll see videos that are a couple years old now where people have jailbroken iPads and iPhones that are using UTM running Windows 10 with pretty impressive performance. Those setups are using more advanced systems, enough that most people could potentially run a modern workflow from them. So why doesn't Apple let that version through the App Store? Well, I don't believe that Apple is willing to give up that amount of control in their mobile software and up until very recently, Apple didn't allow any emulation tools at all. It really wasn't until the EU got involved and said that Apple needed to allow alternative app stores that they finally changed their tune a little. Shortly after that happened, they updated their app review guidelines to allow retro game console emulators, which is likely part of the reason why UTMSE is framed as an emulator for playing old PC software, mostly for games. Outside of the app store, especially with macOS, UTM is seen more as a free, less feature-rich alternative to something like Parallels, a tool that a lot of folks use to run Windows on their Macs, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, but I think if we're ever gonna see the same level of performance that you get with UTM on macOS or those jailbroken devices, it's likely gonna be from external pressure on Apple, but it would be great to see these things built out into something more usable. Yeah, the retro aspect is cool, and it's neat to look back on these old apps and games, but I would love for there to be some option to effectively run desktop environments for things like software development or even access some kind of terminal or command prompt with some level of performance. Will that ever happen? Who knows? But after seeing Apple open up a little bit on these types of apps, which I think no one ever expected to happen, I'm not going to rule out the possibility and who knows what other folks will come up with that will optimize software like this and find a way to make their way through the App Store process. With that being said, I am curious if anyone else has tried this out, if you have, or especially if you've tried out any other operating systems that you found that work all right through UTMSE, let me know in the comments down below, but that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. If you wanna see more tech-related videos or help me organize a picnic where all the food must be eaten with oversized utensils, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.